Welcome back to Covered. I hope you've had a great break and are ready to join us again for Rebuild Christchurch and CTV's behind the scenes look at the residential rebuild program in Canterbury. Today we'll be talking to Southern Response about how they're dealing with customers in vulnerable circumstances. An Australian psychologist who specialises in post-disaster trauma gives us his thoughts on the role and responsibility of the media during post-disaster recovery. But first, we've gone out into the field to find out about the insurance company Vero and its multi-unit building program. So my name is uh, Jimmy Higgins, I'm the Executive General Manager of Vero's Earthquake Program. So Vero, uh, during the disasters, suffered about 30,000 claims. Um, about 70% of those were commercial and about 20-30% were residential claims, of which uh, in multi-units we would have had about 150-odd uh, sites and 300-odd properties. So our progress, we're looking at 2015 as probably the year where we want to be substantially complete. Uh, our commercial program is about 87% done, uh, the residential program is around about 70 to 80 percent. So look, early in our program we identified a very complex situation where we had uh, a number of unit holders where you had multiple insurers uh, requiring multiple assessments and multiple contractors and so the, we designed and developed with the industry a multi-unit program that effectively meant that we had to identify a lead insurer and a lead contractor to manage these sites to, to gain efficiencies but also to make sure that where there was undercap and overcap properties that we looked at the whole of building approach rather than an individual unit approach and so we developed the I guess what's called the shared property program across the industry. We recognised early in the program that we needed to have a specialised team dealing with the multi-units so we set up a, a multi-unit team and also engaged a separate project management office to specifically deal with our multi-unit program. Uh, that program is now well advanced and as you can see we've started building these, uh, these properties in Christchurch. I'm Adam Mora, I'm a project manager with Corbell Construction, been tasked with um, getting this build across the line. Pretty robust uh, and good dealings with Vero right the way through. It's nice to um, be part of putting the, um, the the build back together, the property back together. We're putting together a um, contemporary design based upon the original building footprint, and um, there's been quite some consultation between Vero and the customers um, during the process. I'm Jill Nuttall and I chair the Body Corporate. The Body Corporate is the group of all 11 owners who have a say in what happens here. Oh, the relationship has been fascinating. Uh, at first we had many meetings in all sorts of places and we all sat, sat around the table together and tried and worked, tried to understand what was going to happen and what sequence and who was going to be responsible for what. And it was very unclear at the beginning. But as time went on, um, the processes got more efficient and we developed a really important trust between us all. Uh, every multi-unit is a complex site in Christchurch. Um, we've been able to get this one away fairly early and it was uh, largely due to the, the case managed system that we've got in place. So, so we've got experienced people on the ground within Vero dealing with the customers, dealing with the contractors and we've given them the authority to make the decisions to, bro to progress things along. So we don't run a call centre operation as such. So uh, every customer uh, and contractor know who their case manager is and can contact them directly to work out where their issues are and what's their time frame for getting things into resolution. Also we've worked very closely with the Christchurch City Council for example uh, to understand what type of consenting uh, process and documentation that we needed to be able to get these properties con consented so that we can get them contracted and started to build. The process involved with multi-units comes along with understanding what was here originally, putting together a design that reflects the new engineering that has had to be put in place due to the earthquake that is happening all around New Zealand. Christchurch is probably the first to um, experience that of course. The solution needed to be provided to get these buildings underway and provide some sort of normality back to the customers. There was a lot of dialogue between Vero and the customers um, and ourselves. We did a lot of design engineering to ensure that we could fit within, uh, within budgets. I think we were learning on the job, all of us. It was a, there was no book about how we would do this. And um, it, ch it has changed greatly over the period of time. At the beginning we talked 
only with Vero because there was no builder appointed and then after that um, more and more we spend mo most of our time talking to Corbell. This relationship worked very well but of course there's been ups and downs and um, in my career I knew that good faith and good relationships were the basis of successful outcomes but never more so than in this process. So that's been the important part to be able to trust people and they to trust us. It's fair to say that the process initially w was quite complex. We didn't truly understand the, the level of damage that these properties had experienced. And we also got to take into account the land conditions of a lot of these properties. And of course, um, the, the, the policy from EQC is not yet finalized on, on land. So we had a look at um, pragmatic commercial solutions to try and get these properties built, including foundation design and, and any, any land issues that we had to deal with. So the, the process that we developed uh, did take a bit of learning to understand understand all the nuances that we would typically not experience in a single dwelling, but well now we've bedded those processes down, everything from dealing with a multitude of property owners in the multi-unit, as well as the contract that we need to design uh, for each individual insurer to be comfortable with that it's the one contract for the whole of building. I think the, the build itself is pretty straightforward. The, there's geotechnical challenges. There's challenges staying within the confines of what the insurer is um, liable to provide. There's challenges with providing what the customer is expecting. And there's challenges with dealing with that along the way. Um, so not only are we building, but we're also uh, liaising and discussing with Vero and with the customers all the way through. And that can provide quite some time constraints and, and material constraints and project constraints. It's really important for Vero to pick the, the, the suppliers and partners that we want to work with, um, that we've got the, the trust and faith that can do the job and do it, do it right. And, and I guess once we start building that, th those relationships and with the guys and the project managers on site, it really makes it a much easier for us to work collectively and collaboratively together to get these sites built. Build the trust and spend time on the relationship with the builder and with the insurer. Be prepared to flag some of the small stuff. Remember that your owners who have been neighbours before will be neighbours again, and so keep those relationships healthy too. All of the customers and the properties and the sites that we're leading, uh, those customers can expect us to be pushing things quite hard and quite fast to get them into contract. And as I said, our, our plan is really to get uh, about 90% of the sites that we lead into contract by June 2015. When we come back, I'll be talking to John McSweeney about his role as a customer support manager at Southern Response, the kind of assistance that they can offer, and how to know when you might be in need of a little extra support. Thank you.